so my name is uh, Fabio Valli. Um, I'm uh, doing some research at Concordia University, but I'm also leading the Greater Games project, which has started in uh, 2014. So um, I would like to present you a bit uh, the context behind Greeting Games, uh, the project itself, and how it can in fact uh, be a, a model for other uh, innovation. So today in Canada, we have about uh, one person out of five that has a respiratory disease. Uh, in the adults, uh, COPD, so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is the most prevalent uh, disease and the first cause of hospitalization uh, after pregnancy. In children, asthma is the first cause of, uh, or the, the most prevalent cause of, of disease. At the same time, a study released recently said that in the last three months from the study, uh, about three people out of ten in Canada are using uh, mobile, mobile hub. Till 2030, in fact, the, the respiratory diseases in Canada will increase by 30%. And uh, the estimated economic cost for it is about one-fifth of the median income per Canadian. Regarding uh, mobile health apps, the, the market will evolve from 2013-2018 uh, by nine. So what Ethereum is doing is uh, we try to bring people together to collectively create games and devices for uh, respiratory health. And we link that to participatory research. We have uh, some games that enable to uh, raise awareness and uh, promote education, for example, to release stress. We have some games that are more about screening or uh, like a step before diagnosis, for example, helping uh, asthmatic children to do a lung test self-assessment so that they can follow their treatment. And we have uh, also games uh, to foster the treatment, so to make treatment more interesting for people. Uh, we know generally that in uh, chronic illnesses, one person out of two doesn't do their therapy, even if they discuss it with, with uh, their caregiver. So uh, the idea here is really to transform the treatment or the education into something fun, where the person can learn at all what they want and have some interesting feedback. Uh, this also can uh, provide data, uh, as, as we want these uh, games to be uh, freely av available. Uh, we expect that people in countries that don't have a medical infrastructure will be able, in fact, to, to use these tools to better know about their health, but also to possibly um, have uh, data that can able to map uh, the situation locally. In, in the last three years, we had about uh, 200 people that contributed to this uh, project. And uh, we have been able to uh, prototype 12 different games and three devices to transform it is, uh, the grid into a, into a signal. And we also try to document all this process uh, via the scientific uh, congresses and uh, also online. So I would like to present you a short uh, video. The idea is to make the games uh, so that the breathing exercises the kids have to do are more fun, basically, because they have to do these exercises that often, it's really boring, and so we're making games to make that process more entertaining for them. Ça peut vraiment beaucoup aider les enfants euh, au quotidien parce qu'ils doivent faire ces exercices respiratoires au quotidien. Bah oui, ce sera cool. Déjà, ça ne, ce sera mieux, ça nous encouragera, encouragera un petit peu euh, pour à, à faire euh, la physio et tout. Et comme ça, il pourra faire la physio avec plus de plaisir. So my name is uh, Seyman Se. I'm a pediatric respirologist. It was my first game jam. It was an eye-opening experience. And knowing how we can start from just a group of people who are interested in building something together, mm -hmm. who are in different fields, I really feel it's, a, it's an amazing experience. Okay. You know, yeah. like coming together and working for a common goal, common value, mm -hmm. without having the same knowledge at the beginning. Yeah. Um, and we learn from each other, for sure. I, I learned tons this week, <laughs> so it's great. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so the idea of the project is really to uh, leave an approach where everyone is doing its own project uh, on, on their own and locally, um, to an approach where, in fact, we can uh, join forces and, and share our resources so that 
we have a, a collective pool of resources that everyone can use and improve. Next step for us is really to say we also want people to be able to create their own medical devices. So today we have uh, these medical certifications that are really complicated, but we think that with 3D printing, with uh, open electronics, we can uh, document uh, the way that people can create these devices so that they can build their own and, and be more involved, in fact, in their uh, self-care. So that's uh, mainly the idea of this project.